Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to week number 50 of the Horror Man Slashback Saturday Challenge. This week's slasher movie theme is Highly Rated Slashers, and I will be giving my review for Eyes of a Stranger. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one, a lovely blind and deaf teen reaches for a plate she just set aside. It's gone. She reaches again and it's back in its original place. Someone is playing a cruel game with her. That someone is the serial killer terrorizing Miami and the shocker from the production company behind the original Friday the 13th. Making memorable movie debuts are Jennifer Jason Leigh of A Single White Female and Dolores Claiborne as the impaired but not helpless girl and Lauren Tweez of a love boat as her TV newscaster sister whose investigation inadvertently leads the killer to her home and the final sequence that will leave you breathless. I, this stranger, and experience face-to-face fear as few other films deliver. Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. With this week's Slashback Challenge theme of highly rated slashers, we were challenged to watch and review a slasher movie that was at least rated a 6 or higher on IMDb. So I chose to review Eyes of a Stranger because it was given a 6 on IMDb and I felt like it deserved better. According to IMDb, Eyes of a Stranger was released in 1981. The back of the DVD says 1980. Regardless, This movie was definitely released when slasher movies were hitting their stride. They were extremely popular in this time period. And I feel like Eyes of a Stranger is overlooked for the most part. It's definitely not really talked about that much. But I think it's a really awesome slasher movie. And it's a perfect example of slasher movies of this time period. This movie sort of reminds me of When a Stranger Calls. Basically because... It has phone harassment storyline elements just like that movie did. It also sort of puts me in mind of visiting hours a little bit. Now this movie does not have a hospital for a set location, but one of the main characters is a news broadcast journalist, and she is really concerned about the female murder victims, and she's putting a lot of information out over the air, and this alerts the killer. So that storyline element does remind me a little bit of the storyline in Visiting Hours. So if you have seen those two movies, you get a little bit of an idea of what to expect with this one. This movie has a fantastic opening sequence. It starts off with a photographer getting some nature shots when he discovers a dead body. We move forward just a little when we get the first female who is receiving harassing phone calls. This opening sequence is my favorite scene within the entire movie. It has really good suspense, and it has a perfect slasher movie setup. And if you are a fan of slasher movies, you have to see it. The movie does slow down a little after this point, but I don't consider this movie to be a slow burn. It basically does it to establish the main characters within the storyline. This movie does a really good job at building suspense. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the cast of characters we have in Eyes of a Stranger. And we basically have four main characters within the storyline. We have Lauren Twee's character. She plays as the TV news broadcaster who believes she knows who the killer is based off some suspicious activities she has seen him do in the parking garage that they share. We do also learn that they live in apartment buildings right directly across from each other. She even discovers what room he stays in and at one point breaks into his room and begins to snoop around. She also begins to give him phone calls, basically calling him out as being the killer. This only upsets him and it's basically giving him some of his own medicine because the phone harassing is pretty much his thing. So all this does is pretty much upset him. Another important character in the storyline is Lauren Twee's boyfriend character. He is a lawyer. She tries to confide in him and talk to him about the killer. He tries to support her, 
but ultimately he knows that she doesn't have enough evidence to prove that he's the killer. We also have Jennifer Jason Lee's character. She plays as the blind and deaf girl. And she's another really important character, especially with the ending sequence of the movie. And the last important character we have, of course, is the killer. We do spend quite a bit of time with him. We do have some throwaway characters, which are basically victims for the killer. And they help progress the story forward. Overall, I thought the acting was really good in this movie. I really enjoyed all the performances. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the most important part of a slasher movie. That is the killer and the kills. I thought we had a pretty good killer for this movie's storyline. He basically looks like an average dude. Other than the opening sequence of the movie where he wears a mask, so that's pretty cool. But other than that, he basically looks like an average guy. We do know that he likes to give harassing phone calls to women and he sexually assaults women and of course murders them and anybody else who gets in his way. We don't really know too much more about him other than that, other than basically he's just a sicko. As far as the kills go within this movie, I don't consider this to be a high body count movie. We do get quite a few decent kills. There's quite a bit of blood. The killer uses anything and everything he can get his hands on as a murder weapon, so that's really cool. I thought each one of the kills had really good suspense and build up, so that made it really fun and entertaining to watch. Overall, I really enjoy this movie. IMDb give it a 6 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think about Eyes of a Stranger if you have seen it. Or just let me know what you think about my review. And I would like to thank you all for watching.